I am concerned by the security situation in the country and its potential impact on the entire region. The suicide attacks carried out in Kampala on 11 July evidently bear the political and operational hallmarks of international terrorism which threatens the sub-region. It is not the number of initiatives for Somalia that is in deficit, but concrete and practical actions on the ground. As we all realize the dangerous conditions in which the TFG and the AMISOM troops operate under, I appeal to all member states to move from the usual political commitments to more practical actions. I request and encourage the Council to remain engaged and seized with the situation in Somalia, which unlike many African conflicts, has multiple threats to international peace security. A protracted civil war, international terrorism, internal, international piracy, and international trafficking. Experience in Somalia has shown that the more delayed or inadequate the response is, the more complex the crisis becomes. The situation in Somalia is now overflowing to its neighbors. On the day of the finals of the World Cup in South Africa, very devastating cowardly and wicked attacks were carried out in our neighboring country, Uganda, where large numbers of lives were lost of both Ugandan nationals and Kenyan nationals.